You don't get what you want in your life, you get what you believe. You get what you believe you deserve. And one of the number one limiting beliefs that almost everybody has is I'm not enough. And it's actually really pretty sad because we don't get what we want. We get what we believe we deserve. And if we don't believe that we're enough, then our subconscious is going to affect our behavior and make sure that we don't ever get what we want. That's why I love the mirror method. I just started doing it and I absolutely love it. It's gonna help you rewire your limiting beliefs and really build faith and confidence in yourself. Every so often your brain does something that's called brain pruning. I just learned about this. It actually creates a scan of your brain. It goes through all the neural pathways and whichever ones you're using the most, it strengthens. And whichever ones that you're not using, it actually prunes them away. And what's really cool is with the mirror method, you can actually guide your mind to prune away your limiting beliefs. I'm Sarah Stone Love. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's all about the science and psychology of manifesting. And today we're talking about the mirror method because I just started doing it. I'm going to tell you firsthand, it is the fastest way to boost your confidence and raise your vibration and just make you feel good. We are the ones that are responsible for our own life. And whatever we feed our minds, that's what we're going to get. That's what we're going to manifest. Your dominant thoughts and beliefs create your dominant frequency and your energetic point of attraction. So I've actually heard about this method from several people, from reading the book, The Magic of Believing, and also Louise Hay, if you've ever heard of her, she actually cured herself from an aggressive cancer using this method and developing self-love from her mirror talk, and also from Mel Robbins with her high five mirror method. I like to kind of combine all three. We simply just can't manifest our dreams unless we feel like we're worthy of them. Getting yourself to believe in yourself is a tricky tricky thing and the mirror method makes it easy. We literally cannot manifest our dreams unless we believe in ourselves, unless we believe we deserve them and that we are enough. And we can rewrite this program from our childhood with the mirror method. So before you start this, go ahead and decide exactly what it is you want. Be clear, be detailed. Don't just say, I want to manifest a lot of money. Do the exact amount of money, whatever it is, be specific. So what do most of us do when we look in front of the mirror, including myself? as they immediately start looking at the lines, oh, I'm getting older or this, or I look tired and saying all these like really mean things to myself. So we wanna break that pattern. So I like to start off by using Mel Robbins high five technique. And you look in the mirror and you smile and you give yourself a high five. It might feel silly the first few times, but I do it all the time now. Every time I go to the bathroom, after I'm done, I wash my hands, give myself a high five, and it breaks the negative pattern. And then smile and just pick one thing that you appreciate about yourself. And this will activate all those feel good chemicals. So stand tall with really good posture. Take a few deep breaths, get yourself into the receptive mode and say, Sarah, I love you. The first time I did this, it was actually, I was surprised. It was hard for me to say it, but with practice, it gets easier and easier. Say your name and say it out loud. Sarah, I love you. Sarah, I love you. You are enough and you're going to get exactly what you deserve and you are worthy of your dreams. You deserve it. Command your subconscious and say it like you mean it. Even if you don't believe it at first, remember a belief is just a thought that's been repeated over and over. Maybe you're sad or you're having an off day. Look in the mirror, say your name, say it out loud. Sarah, everything is okay. You are okay. Make sure you say it in present tense because you don't want to say it in the past. You don't want to say it in the future. You want it happening right now. Choose the reality that you want to create and bring it into the present tense. And remember, your subconscious doesn't always listen to words. It listens to feelings. The first time I did this, I was actually really surprised at how good it made me feel. I was just like giggling like a little kid. And I went to drop my kids off from school and I was just laughing and smiling the whole way home. And I was like, yeah. You want to feel that energy shift that you begin believing in yourself. Jim Quick says to think about a baby elephant tied to a stake on the ground. At first, it's not strong enough to pull up the stake. And eventually it just stops trying. And then it gets really big and strong and powerful. And of course it could pull up that little stake in the ground, but it never tries because it doesn't believe it can. This is all based on what the elephant learned as a baby. Most of us have had all these limiting beliefs trapped inside of our subconscious of things we heard in our childhood, like you're too skinny, you're too heavy, you're too smart, you're not smart enough. Whatever it is, we're never enough. Children just want to feel loved and accepted. And that's exactly what we're still searching for as adults. We can't find love and acceptance from others until we love and accept ourselves. Totally a catch 22. I'm still working on this one, but I have come a long way since I started using the mirror method. And it's really helping me build the confidence to do this YouTube channel and to feel like I'm good enough to present these ideas to you. And what I really like about it is that I find this lingering effect throughout the day where I'm starting to talk to myself unconsciously 
in a more positive way. And what I also really like about this method is you don't have to change any of your habits or change anything. It just fits in with your schedule. And anytime you're using the bathroom, when you wake up in the morning, you go use the bathroom, you can just take a minute, look in the mirror and say something nice. Give yourself a high five, smile, say something you like about yourself. Tell yourself that you love yourself. Say your name out loud and use the present tense and tell yourself that you're gonna get everything that you ever dreamed because you deserve it. I'm Sarah Stone Love and I hope the mirror method helps you like it's helping me. If you like the video, please subscribe, share it, like it, and join me every Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be sharing more content on the law of assumption and manifesting your dreams.